Hello, hello, Megan Phillips here. I am talking about self-care for moms today. Um, I am a busy mom of three little ones. They are um, almost five, four, and six months old. And so life is pretty chaotic and busy. And if you're like me, you probably do not leave much time for yourself ever. Um, and so, especially during times like this where you know we're going through this uh, pandemic, unfortunately, and we're kind of locked in at home and it's easy to like hunker down and not do anything for ourselves. So I actually took some time for myself today, which is very rare. I um, was feeling very melancholy or blah, if you will, um, because I, you know, go a few days in between showering. I'm usually wearing leggings um, and, you know, lounging clothes and I'm not getting ready for anything because I'm just staying home and I don't have places to be. And so, like a lot of consecutive days of that over and over and over can start to get to you and weigh you down. So I want to talk about the importance of self-care. And what about we do one of my little sisters. This, this is Phoenix. What do you want about, to say hi? What, what about we do Sissy's phone day? We did that on your phone. Okay, in just a minute, can we okay? Do it again? Just a minute. So um it is important. Self-care is important because if we take a few minutes for ourselves, Can I have a snack? you know, every day would be ideal, but I know that's not always realistic. <laughs> this is a perfect example. Um, when you have a lot of people that rely on you to do everything for them, you need you to wait a minute, okay? Okay, can you catch a bubble and wait for mommy and I'll get you a snack in a minute, okay? So, you probably... As a mom, wear lots of hats, do lots of things, run your household, you know, take care of all these little people and your spouse and all these things and you come last. So I am guilty of doing that too. So I would love to say that you should take self-care time every day. That would be great, but that's not really real realistic. Um, I definitely don't get that. Um, so when you do have a few minutes or when you're feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm just more on edge today or whatever, like stop what you're doing, lock yourself in your bathroom if you need to, put the TV on for the kids, they'll be okay. You know, get ready, do your hair and makeup, do something that's gonna make you feel um, good about yourself. And uh, you know, if you take time to get ready, and when you feel better, you know, you look better, so you feel better about yourself, and that really helps. So um, I also, you know, do Color Street nail strips, and that helps. I don't have any on right now, but that's just a little time for myself to do my nails so that my nails look pretty. That makes me feel happier, too. So whatever your self-care is, try to take a few minutes of time for yourself as often as possible, um, at least once a week, if not more. I'm definitely guilty of going weeks and weeks and weeks and being like oh my gosh I need a minute now <laughs> ah, so if you're with me on that and you totally can relate you are not alone and take a deep breath <laughs> calm your body count to 10 this is what I'm doing instead of screaming at my child right now who will not leave me alone <laughs> for three minutes for this video <sighs> okay so we're in this together us moms have to stick together. Let's all try to um, do something for a mom we know. You know, you could send them something small for them to do, self-care at home, like a little face mask. Those are really cheap at the, um, just like grocery store. Um, you know, anything that they can do to spend time on themselves. So that is what I wanted to share about today is how important self-care is. So do something for yourself today.